Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. I know you were expecting the table for this evening's worship service. However, as you heard, we had a case. And praise God for the wisdom that Holy Spirit gives us. And in complete surrender to the anointing that God give our elders through prayer, through seeking the Lord's wisdom, we have decided as far as to cancel the next two Sundays and, and all church gatherings here at Open Arms Community Church. Having said that, hallelujah, God's word does not come back void. Amen. Can I say it again? God's word does not come back void. Hallelujah. So I encourage you, beloved church family, that though the enemy may think that he put out a distraction that put things to a halt. No. Nope. In Jesus name, we will continue to worship 24 seven. Amen. We will continue to pray fast. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that Holy Spirit has lead you to do and guides you to do, just do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Say with me, do it. Amen. So remember, if he leads you to, to fast, fast. If he leads you to, to, to pray, of course, pray without ceasing. Amen. Don't, don't stop. Just keep on praying. Hallelujah. Because those words that you speak in Lord Jesus Christ, the power of Holy Spirit, hallelujah, it will not be stopped. It will come back doing its work. Amen. So speak life, speak life in abundance. Praise God. And I'm just so thankful once again that, that we are rooted here at Open Arms Community Church, Holy Spirit's church. Amen. Agape. Hallelujah. Who is Agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And praise God. Praise God that we be obedient. Amen. Be a blessing to God first and just bless Holy Spirit. Allow him to, to heal your body and uh, just bless you with his peace. Amen. So for this evening, I asked Holy Spirit for a message that not only rebukes and mutes the enemy in all these distractions that he's trying to do before the trumpet sounds. Amen. You see, what the, 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 the intent of the enemy is to make as much disruption, as much chaos, as many distractions as possible so that any beloved child of God will take their eyes off of Lord Jesus and start looking at all the chaos and distraction and destruction. No more in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I asked Holy Spirit, help me, Lord. In, in every worship service, we all do that. Praise God. And this is his word. He's our only teacher. And I'm so thankful that God would take us back to this story. It's in Mark 5. And I know many of you right now, when I say Mark 5, many of you know already, oh, the, the woman with the issue of blood. Amen. And you're correct. Praise God. But remember, let's approach God's throne this evening, not only being broken. Praise God. Just, I mean, that, that's, that, that's it. That's it right there. Can, can I get an Amen. If we as God's children would just repent and just confess to the Lord God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner, forgive me. I did you wrong. I take full ownership for everything. I am sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry that I allowed things that should never be. Right? It's no longer anybody else's fault. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. We have to own up to it. Because when Lord Jesus Christ knows that we take full ownership and accountability and we come to the Father saying, I repent, Father, forgive me. Because it's not by my power, it's your power. It's not by my righteousness, you're the only one righteous, Lord Jesus Christ. It's not my salvation, it's your salvation, Lord Jesus Christ. It's your joy, it's your peace. It's you, Holy Spirit, amen. And this is where we want to be, hallelujah, as God's holy children, his holy church, praise God, that no matter what happens, that we stay focused on Lord Jesus Christ, and in we, as we stay focused in that anointing, in that worship, that we allow God to just minister to us and to bless us with his presence. See, this goes past memorizing scriptures, this goes past preaching or doing things, this is intimacy between you and the Father. Because I'm going to tell you right now, as, as I stand here in front of this camera, blessed and honored to do so in Jesus' name. This world is, is, I mean, you have not seen nothing yet. And if you're already in a tizzy, once again, that word is tizzy. If you're already spinning, 
If you're already out of control, if the emotions are out of control, if the chaos, if the anxiety or worry or depression, God has given you the power through Lord Jesus Christ to say, stop. The glory of God that just echoed all throughout the sanctuary right now in Jesus' name. And my challenge to you is, will you allow this moment right now, whatever time that you, 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 you're in worship, whenever you are watching this video, will you allow this moment right now to be broken before God? I choose to be. I choose to be. I don't have it together. I don't. Only Lord Jesus Christ does. And in everything that's going on, I am so thankful that he already left heaven, came here, died a horrible death, died a horrible death, and above all, raised, hallelujah, in glory. And that same power, that anointing, is in you and in me as a beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. So pray with me. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Saturday evening worship service. Hallelujah. I, I know that uh, m how many of us have been so blessed and so encouraged by the table. And I am so thankful that Holy Spirit has led them to, to do that. And um, I can't wait for that to pick back up. Praise God. If we're not raptured out of here in the next half an hour. Amen. So bear with me um, for these next couple weeks. Praise God. Remember, we're just going to be obedient to what Holy Spirit has 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 blessed us with wisdom to do amen because remember we want to be a blessing to god first and to the rest of this world to our neighbors amen and that's why i encourage you beloved church family praise god just 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 thank lord jesus christ thank god for his blood amen just keep on thanking him hallelujah no matter what in jesus name do you believe that hallelujah say amen praise god amen let's pray heavenly father we thank you for all of eternity. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's because of you, Lord Jesus, that we're with you for all of eternity, that we are yours. And Heavenly Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, Father God, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for your anointing and your power, your presence, your light that shines through us, your beloved children. Open arms, community church, Father God, and just flooding, just overflowing our community, Father. Heavenly Father, we just lift up all these distractions of the enemy, Father God. We rebuke it right now in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name. Father, there's many of us that are, that are coming together at the, at the, at the court steps, at, you know, at community walks, you know, in revivals, in, 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 in churches, wherever, Father God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that your light, your presence manifests and your power, Father God, just flows and, and just rebukes, cut off every foul thing in Jesus Christ's holy name. I thank you, Father God, for the wisdom. I pray, Father God, for our elders. And I thank you, Father God, for blessing them with boldness, Father God, with an anointing. Bless them, Father God, and their entire families, their children, children's children, generations to come, Father. We know it's all you, Lord Jesus Christ, and your anointing. We thank you, Father God. We lift up Pastor John, Pastor Mary. We lift them up to you too, Father God. Just bless them, Lord. And Father, we lift up every soul that you have planted here at Open Arms Community Church, Father God. We lift up your church, Father, regardless what the name is on the building, Father. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You are perfect, Father God. You are worthy because, Lord Jesus Christ, you paid for us all. So, Father, just bless these next few moments, Father, that above all, I'm obedient to your word. The Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. We go through no man, only through you, Lord Jesus Christ. And, Father, I pray that, that ears are open, that ears will hear, and scales will fall off our eyes, Father. And I just thank you, Father God, for a heart of repentance in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are in Mark 5, and we're not going to start from the beginning of Mark 5. We're actually going to start in verse 34. Amen. In verse 34. 
And this is after the transaction, right? After the exchange was completed as far as virtue from heaven that flowed through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. And he felt that touch from that beloved daughter. Amen. Now remember the beloved daughter, her state was, I have nothing. I have nothing. This is, this is my only chance, my only opportunity. This is my only hope. Amen. And glory to God, is that not the condition right now? That this world should be in. Amen. I say it all the time in, in fellowship, in, in, in prayer. I mean, you would think that, that churches would be overflowing. Right? With overflowing with souls that just want to say, I need to get right with you, Lord. I just want to come to bless you. Amen. I just want to come because I'm going to... Right? And you pray that this is the case. Of course, for our nation, you pray that's the case for our community, for our families. But as you know, Holy Spirit wants to make this intimate and personal with you tonight, with me tonight. And I pray in Jesus' name that you're receptive and that you allow his presence to flow because this is what God wants to teach tonight. Amen. Verse 34, he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. Of your affliction. Now, verse 35, get this. While Lord Jesus Christ was still speaking, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, servants from this from Hyrus's house, who said, and they're saying this to Hyrus, but they're saying it in a tone so that Lord Jesus Christ, as Lord Jesus Christ, is speaking now, okay? So remember, Lord Jesus Christ has released the virtue, right? Lord Jesus Christ has already just given all the glory to Father God, right? Telling this beloved daughter of God, your faith has made you whole, right? Be, 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 healed, be healed, be blessed, be well, right? Here's Lord Jesus Christ speaking the blessing over God's beloved daughter. And here comes Hyrus' servants from his household, that come while he's speaking, right? So you got to imagine, this is from left field now, amen? This is from left field because here we're in worship. Can I get an amen? Glory to God. You have Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh right there, and he's speaking, glory to God. He's speaking the blessing. He's speaking the miracle. He's speaking, and all people, everyone who has eyes to see, ears to hear, they're like, Oh my goodness, I know her. I know her. Isn't that, didn't she? Oh my goodness, for years. Look, right? I mean, such a, such a magnificent, marvelous, wonderful time, right? The anointing of God just flowing, and then boom, here comes, say it with me, a distraction, right? And this is just like the enemy, amen? This is just like the enemy to be a distraction, and while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Now, in Jesus' name, please, 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 we, we have to get out of body to receive the anointing that Holy Spirit wants to teach us right now so that Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. Please say it out loud because that is faith and that is the spirit of faith. Holy Spirit. Amen. He is God Almighty. Holy Spirit wants to teach us how this enemy operates and how we can quickly rebuke the distraction to allow God's presence to flow miraculously beyond what this world can possibly understand in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Praise God. I'm ready. Praise God. Say it with me. Teach me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Beloved church family, please, for the remainder of the time that we have here on this earth, don't ever look at me or whoever's preaching here at Open Arms Community Church. Look through that person and see Holy Spirit. Look through that person and look at Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Look through that person and Father God will say, here I am. I see you. Here I am. And just worship and allow my presence to minister to you and to bless you as this mouthpiece. That's all I am, a mouthpiece. 
as this mouthpiece speaks what Holy Spirit has to say. Amen. All glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It says, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Verse 36, Mark 5, verse 36. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, he said to Hyrus himself, he said to the daddy of the daughter, okay? He said to him, do not be afraid, only believe. Can I get an amen? Do not be afraid, only believe. Beloved church family, the enemy tried his best to distract us. And once again, Holy Spirit is echoing all throughout heaven as the praises in heaven just flood and overflow. And within your heart and that you hear this message and Holy Spirit in you hears the faith of Lord Jesus Christ speaking agape, speaking the word of God, amen? And it will manifest, remember his word does not come back void, it will manifest healing right now on your body, protection on your body in Jesus' name, amen? Do you believe? Hallelujah. Let's repeat what, what Lord Jesus Christ said to him. Amen. Do not be afraid. Only believe. It's easy. It's easy when we hear something that doesn't line up when we get a bad report, right? It's easy to put faith in that doctor's report because they show you all the levels, right? They show you the data. They show you evidence, right? They show you evidence on that chart, amen? Well, here I am a believer of Lord Jesus Christ. And I only go through Lord Jesus Christ and I am thankful that Holy Spirit lives in me, lives in you. If Jesus Christ is your Lord, Holy Spirit lives in you. And as a beloved child of God, as a son of God, I'm going to show you a report. Can I get an amen? What God is asking of us right now is don't worry about what the distraction is. Just believe what my written word says about you. Just believe that the written word that I spoke from the beginning of time left heaven and came to this earth and you heard what the written word had to say about you. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And here is the spoken word the written word, agape, Lord Jesus Christ himself, telling this daddy, I heard the report. You heard it. Just believe. Do not be afraid. Just believe. Amen? Could you imagine what Hyrus was going through at this time? Right? He's witnessing this miracle that Lord Jesus Christ called her the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years, daughter. Isn't that beautiful? How God is so intimate and personal with us like that. And so here he is calling her daughter and boom, virtue from heaven. The same virtue that blessed you with your salvation. The same virtue that is living and breathing in you. His name is Holy Spirit. Isn't it beautiful that Lord Jesus Christ called her daughter and you see the presence of God just flow miraculously through Lord Jesus Christ by the power of Holy Spirit healing her once and for all, amen? And in that very breath, here comes the distraction and Hyrus is like, oh. I asked this many times before, have you ever had something happen and it just took your breath away, right? It just... Right? It almost make your knees buckle. 
And it's moments like that that Lord Jesus Christ is saying, I know what happened because I've been here. Just believe. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. Amen? Just believe. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. It's amazing how we take a report from the doctor. And listen, I'm not beating you up. I'm not beating you up. I am just being obedient to what Holy Spirit is telling us. Amen? And if you fall in this category, praise God, Holy Spirit is convicting. Amen? That we need to relinquish, we need to let go of all that and say, I'm done holding on to what the doctors say. I'm going to hold on to what Lord Jesus Christ says. Amen? I'm going to hold on to what this said. That's why I brought this up to the screen. Amen? Because this is the final report, hallelujah, from God Almighty. Amen? You know, you go to the doctor and you get all these test results and all this stuff and they give you all this news and you're looking at all that stuff. But how could we take that in and say, I really believe that and no longer believe this? Beloved church family, I just beg you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, let us just allow God's presence to flow through us. This goes beyond trying to memorize scripture. This goes beyond trying to preach a message. This goes beyond that. This goes to just being at the feet of Lord Jesus Christ and saying, you're the only one I believe in. Amen? Are you the one willing to crawl through a crowded area and just get trampled on just to reach the destination that I just need to touch you, Lord? Hallelujah. Are you willing? Amen. Are you willing? I know we're on this, I know we're on this break. Praise God. And I say praise God because guess what? Glory to God, we get stronger and stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. Amen. But isn't it now time for us to just say, you know what, I'm just, I'm casting all my cares. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, I am your property. I, all in. Amen. All in. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Praise God. Verse 36. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, he said to Hyrus, do not be afraid, only believe. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue with a small tumult and, and those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, Why make this commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him, and he entered where the child was lying. Then he took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha kumi, which is translated, little girl, I say to you, arise. Amen. Immediately the girl arose and walked, for she was 12 years of age, and they were overcome with great amazement. We're going to stop there because Holy Spirit said that's it. Praise God. That's it. Beloved church family, I encourage you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that the anointing, the power of Holy Spirit that you already know that lives in you. You already know that Holy Spirit lives in you and he speaks to you and he encourages you. You already know that you're planted in Holy Spirit's church. Amen. A church of God's order, a church of God's peace, of unity. Amen. Of love, agape, overflowing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, we can know all these things, right? We can know all these things. But the, the, but the root of this message that Lord Jesus Christ wants to rebuke and, 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 and just cast into the pits of hell is this fear. You see, Hyrus, glory to God, Hyrus was there with God. Amen. And God was there to encourage him and say, mm. because he's right there. He heard everything. 
And the glory of our Heavenly Father is right now He's telling all of us as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, in one spirit, Holy Spirit, do not be afraid. Just believe. And glory to God, I believe in Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Lord Jesus Christ is the Messiah and he is perfect. I believe that the blood that was shed is God's holy blood, his blood. I believe that Lord Jesus Christ is the only son of God. He is the only way, the only truth, the only life. He is the only way to receive God the Father. And how do you receive God the Father? It's only through Lord Jesus Christ. And as you say you receive Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, he knows. He knows if you believe. And when he knows you believe, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Holy Spirit's presence blesses you and continues to encourage you and continues to teach you. Amen. And I encourage you in Jesus' name, regardless what reports say, regardless how we feel, right? That we bless Lord Jesus Christ, that we don't allow that fear to come in and that we rest in the perfect love of the Father. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. We rest in the perfect love of Lord Jesus Christ. His name is Holy Spirit. And we rest in Holy Spirit. And where is Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. In me, in you, as a beloved child of God. Amen. You know, there's so much more as far as in this message. We've, 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 we've touched on this message and the story. It's one of our favorites here. Amen. And how could it not be? Praise God. It talks about a daughter that has nothing left. There's no, there's no other hope. And in Jesus' name, that's where we're at right now. Amen. By the grace of God for the past week, I've said it more times than ever. It's one or the other. There is no in between. It's either God, right, or the devil. You choose. And praise God for all this that's happening because there are souls right now there are souls right now, countless souls, giving their life over to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And I am so thankful for that. And yes, there are souls right now that are struggling, that are going through things. Beloved church family, it starts within, it starts in your worship life. Just, just bless God, be thankful, and allow his light in you to shine like never before. Amen? I pray that this message bless you tonight with encouragement. Praise God. I, play, I pray that, that as, as Holy Spirit just manifests and builds himself up in you, that as you feel his presence, that we allow God to flow every area of our life. If God is dealing with you about addiction, if God is dealing with you about anger and emotions, if God is dealing with you about the past that for some reason you're not letting go of, in Jesus' name, Will you allow God to do that today? Will you call out to Lord Jesus Christ, say, Jesus Christ, you are Lord, forgive me. I repent of my sins. I no, long, I no longer want to do that to you. Maybe you've never called on Lord Jesus Christ and you've been running. I pray that tonight you make that decision in Jesus' name. Amen. Share your testimony. Praise God. Share it. Share it with others. Let, let them know, you know, I, cho I chose to be done running. And I'm just so thankful that Lord Jesus Christ saved me. Amen. Regardless what it is, I know for a fact that God is God Almighty, Lord Jesus Christ. He is seated at the throne and Holy Spirit has the power of God in you and in me and nothing can come against our God in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much. Saturday evening worship service. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. And Father, we thank you so much for the table, the table that is set behind us. Above all, Father God, for all of eternity, the table that you have set in heaven for us, Father. We thank you, Father God, right now for your anointing and your wisdom, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we bless you, and the only way we now know how is to be thankful for Lord Jesus. And Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for charging your angels over all of your beloved children, Father. Help us, Father God, fight for us, protect us. 
And thank you so much, Father God, that your hand pushes evil far, far, far away from us. Father, I thank you so much for blessing us with peace. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for giving us Lord Jesus Christ. It's in your holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Praise God. Love you all so much, beloved church family. Praise God. If we're not raptured out of here, praise God. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Amen. God bless you guys. Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Praise God. God bless.